My left leg, I'm doing zodiac signs um, for the week of the 9th through the 16th. We're on the air signs right now. Um, it said, if you know, it said, G, G Easy is um, saying, I, you know, I mean it. Okay. Sorry, let me straighten that up. Okay. Um, Archangel Michael, I ask you to come down, guard and protect us as we channel the messages. Um, thank you, ancestors, and send the masters for all your helpful healing and truthful messages. Um, what is the energy for the air signs Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius for the week of the 9th through the 16th? Jupiter. Mm. Okay. Jupiter is your energy. Jupiter is... Jupiter is associated with the Roman god Jupiter, the ruler of heaven and earth. Thought of as a fair and just protector. Jupiter is often uh, thought of as the planet of luck and expansion. It says, The desire to understand the bigger picture, to prosper and to experience joy are the bigger, big part of Jupiter's influence. Optimism, faith, spirituality play roles in these issues. Okay, it looks like y'all are trying to balance out some stuff. Um, also, um, it's a lucky time uh, for you right now. Um, so you may want to go go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I don't know. You might want to. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get one of these. Um, I'm gonna get a unicorn card. Actually, I'm gonna get the moon cards. Um, to see what what you each need to know. Um, individually as a as a as a, but as a group as well. Okay. Each one of these will go on each one of them, and um, but they're all for everybody. Okay. Um, what does the Libra need to know um, as far as um, the week of the 9th through the 16th? Um, Libra, it's time to give rather than take. Virgo, Gemini, confidence is your key to success. Leo, and Aquarius, a new romantic cycle begins. And this is for everybody, okay? Bottom of the deck, it's time to take action, okay? Um, so what do we need to know about, you say, these, okay. All right, this is what's um, going to occur around the, the, during the week, okay. Um, five cards, please. What do the air signs need to know for the week of the 9th through the, the 16th? Okay, that's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, first card out is your heart. Okay, the angels are, are here to help you out with something going on with your heart, okay? Um, and your luck this week, because Jupiter is a lucky planet. It says you may be walking away from something to do with your heart, okay? Or somebody may be walking away from you. It says the door to romance. So, it says a new romantic cycle begins. We got a 38, 27, and a 33. And what do we need to... It says you've seen the sun about something. Best card in the deck, a one. Okay, this went to the floor. Hostilities. Y'all be aware of hostilities. That's the 26. 27 and 26. And what you don't see on the bottom of the deck, magic in the mirror. Okay. Um, so there may be some magic going on or being used. But this could also mean um, to use your mirror as a tool to help you um, talk to yourself. Build up your confidence. Um, I am's. Um, say all your I am's mantras. And um, the, build up your, your confidence and your self-esteem. Okay. Um, that's what I feel more out of that card right there. Um, what's going on with that? You put it right here. Okay, we're going to clarify this with these green cards right here. Actually, no, we're going to use the, the regular tarot cards. Okay. Um, what does the air sign um, need to know for the week of the 9th through the 16th um, to clarify these cards? Um, that's Gemini, Libra, and, and Aquarius. Something about a past life, something happened in a past life um, that you're that you're ready to walk away from. Okay, what is walking away? That's too many. What is walking away? What is walking away? It says someone had you in third party. Okay, I'm putting that up. Someone had you in third party juggling you, and you're walking away from it. Okay, um, you're done with it. You're you're stepping into a new romantic cycle. You've already might have met someone. Looks like you met someone that has money. Okay? You're stepping into a new romantic cycle. Um, this doesn't have to be a male or a female. Um, it's someone that has money. 
um, that enjoys life, enjoys the bounty of life, um, enjoys um, uh, luxurious and nice things, okay? Um, what do we need to know about the sun? Okay? It says someone's been watching watching you and watching your money, okay? I um, want to offer you something. Maybe this person here is about to offer you something, okay? Um, they saw you being juggled in a different relationship. And um, they were deceiving you. This person was in a third-party relationship and didn't tell you, okay? It says it caused a lot of drama and hostility, okay? Um, but the truth is here, okay? The Capians are um, the Archangel um, Raphael, the heart chakra, and the truth, okay? Um, this magic in the mirror. Someone had you tied up being immature and keeping you there, Okay? So that's what the, that's what's going on there. Had you struggling? Okay, this is for the air signs of the week of the ninth through the sixteenth. Um, okay, um, what do the air signs need to know subconsciously that they're not aware of? What do the air signs need to know subconsciously that they're not aware of this week? It says fire and apocalypse. Hmm. It says fire or fire-related images such as volcanoes, fireworks, burning, or smoking probably indicate that you're experiencing passionate emotions in your waking life. Fire is purifying, eliminating, and the source of life, so it could suggest personal transformation or enlightenment. However, if you feel threatened or, or injured in your dream, perhaps you're putting yourself at risk playing with fire. Something urgently needs your attention before it gets out of control. It can't be ignored or avoided any longer, as it has the potential to be destructive. If you burn alive in a dream, maybe you're being overambitious or too driven or too eager to impress. Maybe you need to take some time out to avoid burning out, especially in professional content. If a firefighter or fire extinguisher appears, um, perhaps you're learning to control your emotions. Even if you aren't yet doing so, there are so there's reasons to have good hope in personal progress. Okay. Um, the apocalypse. Contrary to what you might expect, a dream of the world ending is typically an exciting and positive sign because brave new beginnings always follow. Apocalypse scenarios suggest that dramatic physical or emotional changes are taking place in your life and that you are urgently needed for you to reach your full potential. Um, courage will be called upon to live the, through these changes, but it will be well worth the effort as the outcome could be thrilling. Um, you're feeling more fulfilled and more alive as a result. But to get to that awkward to get out of that but to get to that awkward state your world is currently experiencing, it must be dismantled in some way. Even if the dream appears fearful in mood, it will not usually be pointing to something you must avoid only to the importance of letting go of the familiar and being strong enough to strike out in a new direction. That's what I'm getting from y'all. Um, for, the, for the air signs, um, y'all are, are letting go of something completely and starting in a new direction. Um, something hurts you, and you were juggled, and you are starting over, okay? Um, so let's see, what do they need to know? What do the air signs need to know for the week of the night? Most important things. Your boss... It says Pandora's box is about to be open, or it has just been opened. Um, that's what apocalypse and all that is. Um, and you're fixing to release it. It says open. It's almost telling, like, release all of that. Open that box up and release all that wrath and, and, and move on to a new. Um, you were in a false relationship. Somebody was lying to you. It says, but you're about to be playful and blissful, okay? Um, let that shit go. It says talk, meaning be honest, speak up. It says there's a toad. This is a spiritual animal too, and it also brings prosperity. Okay. Um, it says a baby. Somebody might be pregnant. Somebody might be having a new um, birth in, um, in an idea. It says a knife. You were stabbed in the back, or something is really sharp and very... Um, um, and dangerous, okay? It says tears. These could be tears of joy or tears of, of sadness because of a baby. And it says you're a rabbi, okay? Or somebody around you is a rabbi, um, a spiritual teacher, okay? 
um, someone that, that can um, talk to you about God and stuff like that, or you can, okay? Speaking of which, what does the book want to say? It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23. Okay? I don't know why that's doing that. Okay? Um, what, what does the collective need to know uh, for the air signs? To Lib Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Wonder and joy. It says, it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder, and when I'm a good audience in my life, my life becomes better and better. Theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout, Encore! But be tic and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. Okay? Live your life in wonder. It says, Joy. It says, to enjoy something, I need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it, put it on anything, and it'll make it way better. Today, I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on. Today, I'm Orville Redenbacher of joy, and, life, and life's popcorn's about to get it. Okay, so you're, you're deciding to let go of all that past shit and all that betrayal and shit and move forward onto a new relationship of love and light, okay? All right, so um, let's see what these want to tell you for the week. What do these want to tell the air signs for the week of the 9th through the 18th, uh, through the 16th? Just something basic. Oh, Lord. It's all about you. Okay, that went to the floor, y'all. I'm going to have to take this one out. That one drives me crazy. Okay. We got Z-O-N or, or N-O-N, something non, but it says Z. It says Nas. Okay. You got a plus sign, U plus Nas, okay, or zone, or you're in the zone, you're in the zone right now, okay, all right, it's on, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these back up, okay, um, pendulum, are the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius going through a major, major change in relationships this week? Says yes. Okay. Stop. Okay, they bossing up. These air signs bossing up. Yes. Okay. Um, they want to ask you a question. Y'all can ask two, okay? So get one ready. Alright, um, Pendulum, the the air signs would like to ask you a question um for the week of the ninth through the sixteenth, okay? Answer their first question. It's saying no, y'all. No. Okay, stop. Okay. The air signs would like to ask you a second question. Can you answer their second question when they're ready? Okay, stop. Pendulum answer second question for the air signs of the week of the 9th through the 16th. Yes or no? That is a yes. So you have a no and a yes. Okay, all right, um, oh yeah, these, okay, um, if you like the video, um, like and subscribe, hit the thumbs up, if you want to donate to the channel, it's cash app dollar sign angel moon 6237, I'm going to give you these three right here, um, and, um, I hope y'all have a blessed week, and good luck with your new relationships, because it, it sounds like y'all are, y'all are moving out of something nightmare into something wonderful, um, and, um, um, show joy about it, okay, all right, it says, remember that great expectations create great capabilities. If you limit your goals to what you know you can achieve, you're setting the bar way too low. Okay, so don't, don't do that. Um, use your heart chakra. There's a lot of green. Okay, it says, I'm not goal-oriented so much as I'm constantly aware of what I'm passionate about. I'm constantly updating the list. Okay, and one more, please. Says the only way to get things done is to start to do it, then keep on doing it until you finish it. Okay, so don't stop now. It says when you're in your lane, there is no traffic. Okay, um, so get grounded with that. Okay, I'm gonna um, get a couple of these. Oh, that one jumped out on the floor, y'all. It's bizarro. Okay, I'm gonna get one more to let you know um, what kind of energy you may have for the week. Bizarro and cyborg. Okay, 
So Bizarro, Bizarro is an imperfect clone of Superman. So you may have had a person that you th had expectations on, but they were just the opposite of what you thought, okay? Um, it says, um, Superman, uh, the, an imperfect clone of Superman created by Lex Luthor to destroy the Man of Steel, but the defect duplicate has never succeeded. Most of Bizarro's abilities are exact opposite of those possessed by the Man of Steel. Cyborg says, Cyborg is a technico technological titan and a true hero for the digital age. His cybernetics allow him to access and download information from any computer on the planet. They also grant him superhuman strength, speed, and endurance. Okay, so use the internet to get, um, maybe you're going to fall in love with someone you met online. Who knows? New romantic cycle begins. All right, like, love, too. Namaste. And um, I'll see you on the flip side.